welcome to Ari Jam 360 Entertainment News. I'm your host, Electra. For this news feature and more things Ari, download the Ari Jam 360 app for iPhone and Android devices. Follow us on social media. You can also visit arijam.com. In today's stories, bounty killer shouts out Beanie Man. Bale Herring set for Movado's son. Is Vibes Cartel okay? And Jamaican author makes Times 100 list. Bounty shouts out Beanie Man in the nicest way. After an ongoing rivalry that lasted decades and made worse by D'Angelo moving on from being Bounty's girl to marrying Beanie Man, Bounty Killer has buried the hatchet and is full of praise for his former rival. If ever there was a feel-good moment in dance hall, then this is it. This is what Bounty posted on IG two days ago. Many people might be speculating about why Killer posting so much pic with King Beanie Man. Well, a little enlightenment. 2003, it's a party at Polo Club. I told Ennis and the securities not to let Beanie in my party. Beanie cuts off the security them and returned with a Polo Club membership card, get into the party and ended up on stage DJing the morning too. What a heart. And when my father died 09, he was at the 99th and funeral too. In this pic here, it was 2012, March 4th. My mom 99th, the worst days of my entire life, he was there. And at the funeral also, want to know all who and who that I helped and mama prayed for regularly didn't turn up. But they said in death and grief, that's where you know your real true friends, not in the festivities and the celebrations. As a rival, he had supported me way more than half of the people I gave the platform. He may not be my closest brethren since I don't know his phone number or where he lives. We both have our ways at times, but he is truly a friend indeed. When truly in need, salute greatness. Kaboom! Full transition. Some fest dance all night. 90s recall. Tune for tune, a murder. And they will be performing together, tune for tune, at Reggae Sumfest. Bale Herring set for Movado's son on May 10. The teenage son of dancehall entertainer Movado will be heading back to court next month for his Bale Herring. The youngster has been in juvenile detention center in Kingston without bond since last year. On May 10, his lawyer Peter Champagny will be making a bail application. His lawyer said they will be giving it their best effort to get him out. The young Brooks was arrested and charged in connection with the murder of Lorenzo Thomas on June 5, 2018. He was also charged for illegal possession of firearm and ammunition, shooting with intent and arson. Fans wondering if Vibes Cartel is okay. A new photo circulating on social media has many of his fans wondering if the world boss is all right. The photo went viral on Wednesday, and we have to admit, it is a far cry from what the DJ looks like. It was following another family visit that the photo was released. Vice Cartel is wearing a yellow kerchief around his neck. One fan wrote on his wall, Cartel, as a day one Gaza fan, me deeply concerned about the health. You look sick, man. This don't look right. They more kill off the man in a prison. Another penned, on a two lie. This is not Cartel. Only Cartel can tell me see him in this pic. This not even look remotely close to him. Well... We do hope he is all right. Jamaican author makes Time 100 list. Jamaican author Marlon James has been listed among Time magazine's 100 most influential people in the world. James shares the honor with United States President Donald Trump, former United States First Lady Michelle Obama, football star Mohamed Salah, golf player Tiger Woods, and Game of Thrones star Emilia Clarke. The 48-year-old author shared the news on Facebook yesterday with the caption, so, this happened. According to Time, James is one of the most important voices of his literary generation. He speaks out on race, literature, gay rights, and whatever else is on his mind. A former student of Wilmer's Boys School, James won the 2015 Man Booker Prize for his book, A Brief History of Seven Killings. According to the novelist Salman Rushdie, it is highly original, its language surging with power, its imagination all-encompassing. Marlon is a writer who must be read. A teacher at McAllister College, where he is writer in residence, his other books include John Crow's Devil, Black Leopard, Red Wolf, and The Book of Night Woman. The latter won the Dayton Literary Peace Prize. And that's how we wrap up for today. Thank you for watching Ari Jam 360 Entertainment News. For this news feature and more things Ari, download the Ari Jam 360 app for iPhone and Android devices. Follow us on social media. You can also visit arijam.com. See you soon.